I made a video about a month ago about the second biggest battery in the world. Well, that's already obsolete. In fact, there's two new batteries that are already going to be bigger now. This is one of them. And I believe that this one is actually now officially going to be the second biggest battery in the world. It will be built in my hometown of Melbourne, which is pretty cool. What else is pretty cool? Well, one of the biggest batteries in Australia is currently, well, it's just been completed. It was made using Tesla Mega Packs. And now there's numerous massive batteries being built all over Australia. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. RenewEconomy.com.au has reported that a massive 1,600 megawatt hour big battery has begun construction in Melbourne's outer west, but that's not the true size. Now, this is going to be a huge battery. However, the true size of this battery will actually be 1,200 megawatts and 2,400 megawatt hours in terms of generation. 2,400 megawatt hours, 1,200 megawatt storage. Well, it's insane. It's enormous. I'm sure this will be beaten within a month or two. There's so many enormous batteries being built around the world right now because batteries are what? They're really, really cheap. It's a game changer for battery energy storage. We've got new batteries going up just so quickly. I don't think I could report on them all. There's just so much happening in this area, which is amazing. So far, only the first stage of the battery has been built. This includes a 200 megawatt four hour or 800 megawatt hour battery pack. So 200 megawatts times four equals four hours, means 800 megawatt hours. 200 megawatt and two hour, 400 megawatt hour batteries have been added to that as well. But a lot more work has going to, is going to be done very soon. And this battery is part of Australia's attempts to go green. Many experts now believe that by 2028, Australia will hit its goal, which is to be 90% renewables. Because, well, we already have some states in Australia that have hit that goal already. We're just really probably waiting on places like Victoria, New South Wales and Queensland. Unfortunately, in those three states, the massive batteries that are being built right now will help us achieve those goals because so much solar is being wasted. There's so much solar being generated, especially by households, but also by commercial solar farms. that's just having to be wasted because there's nowhere for it to be stored. So having these huge batteries is really solving that equation. This investment is a massive step forward in increasing Victoria's renewable energy storage capacity, which is critical to meeting Australia's targets of 95% renewable energy generation by 2035, said the energy minister in charge of this battery. The thing here worth keeping in mind is, a recent report revealed it's costing nearly a billion dollars a year in simple maintenance costs to maintain Australia's coal power plants. They're not even being used at anywhere near their full capacity. In fact, they're below 60% generation capacity, which means they're running at a loss and not far off before they close. They're going to close really early. And the reason that they these coal power plants will close early, and the reason that many coal power plants in places like China will close early, is because battery pack prices continue to fall. Solar prices continue to fall. So if we have solar, we have batteries, and they're really, really cheap to install, and they cost almost nothing to run, then it's a far better long-term alternative when it comes to money. And money really is the key driver here. We always talk about, people say to me, why don't you talk more about global warming? And I, and I get that that's a thing. But fortunately, my point here on the channel, the reason for the existence of this channel is to point out solutions to global warming, not to focus on what we can't control. Uh, well, we can, of course, if we support the right businesses and the right things, but not to focus on the negative, but to focus on what is happening. What are the positives? This is one of them. And I'm really, really stoked to see this enormous battery. Thank you for watching.